Woo! Hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Trades. You know, it's coming to you live from Vietnam, guys. This is our evening time, drive time update, guys. So we got the alien in the house, and we've also got the Debbie Downer bear, and we got Dino. And they don't know who's going to be in charge tonight. Is it going to be the Dino, or is it going to be the Debbie Downer bear? We don't know because we're seeing that most of crypto right now is doing the crappy walk, crappy walk, SpongeBob SquarePants, the crappy walk. And right now we're seeing that uh, you know Bitcoin is trying to trying to make a comeback. You can see that in the heat map. Take a look at the heat map right now at time of recording. You see that Bitcoin is absolutely trying trying to come back. We're seeing that Ethereum is almost neutral. Bitcoin is almost neutral. So hopefully by the time you're watching this, boys and girls, aliens, dogs and cats, and amoebas out there, that you know Bitcoin will be in positive territory. So that is cool beans, guys. So I hopefully I was gonna I thought I was gonna have to get the sunglasses to cut out the glare, guys. So you know overall it's a pretty much a green green day out there. You like that? Cool shades, cool shades, guys. Remember, now this is financial advice. This is just an OG in the house expressing his opinion. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. Booyah, baby. So, guys, you know, it is what it is, guys. And uh, if you take a look at the, the, the fear and greed right now, so we're seeing right now, time recording, fear and greed is still at 23. Oh, yeah. And, you know, it's a little bit better than where it was yesterday. So, hopefully, by the time we wake up tomorrow, we'll see that the fear and greed may be up around about 24 to 26, somewhere in that range. Because I think the sentiment is coming back. So, you know, I'm going to show you some data out there. The worst, absolutely the worst case scenario for Bitcoin, guys. I'm going to show it to you. I'm, you know, buckle up, guys. You know, don't don't throw up, uh, don't pass out when you see the worst case scenario for for Bitcoin. It's actually still not that bad, guys. It's absolutely not that bad in the house, guys. So let's get let's get it. So right now, let's take a look at the absolute worst case scenario for Bitcoin. You know, we're seeing that the markets have tumbled, things have gone down, dee 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 down, down. But right now we're seeing that from overall, we're seeing most of crypto just doing SpongeBob SquarePants, the Krabby Walk. Things are just going sideways. The Krabby Walk. So, you know, Krabby Walk is better than the downward spiral to the unknown, you know. So that's pretty good. So right now we're seeing that, you know, according to the, some analysts out there, we're seeing that the worst case scenario for Bitcoin is around about $30,000. And that, you know, $20,000 is completely insane in the memory. So if anybody tells you that, oh, Bitcoin's going to down $20,000, they don't know what they're talking about. And the reason I say that is because we have the minor capitulation. So the minor capitulation is at $21,000. So if we went down to $20,000, it wouldn't be $20,000. It would be like $15,000, $10,000 in the house because if the minor capitulation line if we get close to that, the miners will still start, will start to sell because, and that will, that will be, you know, if that happens, it'll be, it'll be game over. So it'll be, it'll be game over guys. It'll absolutely be game over for crypto guys in house. So we don't want that to happen. It'll be game over. Absolutely be game over. And then Bitcoin will get a huge red card in house because the miners will sell. They'll absolutely sell. And every time we see the miners sell, we see that the Debbie Downer Bear comes back to life and has a party, guys. So it's not going to happen. So other stuff that's coming in right now as well, we're seeing that if you're a Cardano holder, Cardano addresses set a new record. ADA holders should be thankful. So it looks like people are still aping into Cardano and the number of addresses are going up, up, up. So that's pretty good for Cardano. I mean, it's not reflected in the price right now. I mean, the price for Cardano is a big Debbie Downer. I mean, overall, we're seeing a pretty much Debbie Downer everywhere, guys. So other stuff that's coming in right now as well is that it looks like we have got a new a new newsroom issue exec, uh, issues executive order on the blockchain uh, cryptocurrency. So it looks like Governor Gavin in the house, he's being a bit of a Bitcoin and cryptocurrency uh, evangelism actually out there. And it looks like uh, Gavin is signed a new executive order to create a framework for regulation, crypto regulation, while providing opportunities for innovation uh, in the Golden State. So that is pretty good. And that executive order was signed on Wednesday. So what he's saying is that we need regulation, but we're not going to stifle innovation. And that is what institutions are waiting for. Once we get some regulatory clarity out there, it's going to be much easier for Fortune 500 companies to ape into Bitcoin. Because we don't have regu regulatory clarity out there, it makes it a lot more difficult for them to ape into crypto because of accounting practices, guys. So that's that's what that's all about, guys. So that is pretty good. Thank you, uh, Go Governor Gavin Newsom in the house from, uh, I believe he's from New York, guys, right? Uh, tell me if I, smash the likes and comment if he's not from New York. Am I all wrong, guys? Hopefully I did. So we take a look at uh, Bitcoin right now and we can see that the age of Bitcoin held, we're seeing the majority of Bitcoin that's being held and still being held. This is like up, 
you know, this is up to date information, guys. We're seeing that 52 weeks is seen to be the majority of Bitcoins being held more than one year. Uh, two to 52 weeks is then the next truncheon, followed by zero to two weeks, which is, a, which is the paper hands, guys. And if we look at the uh, state of illiquidity or illiquidity for Bitcoin, we're seeing the majority of Bitcoin is. E, e liquid. I mean, that's not moving, guys. That's absolutely not moving. So that's cool beans. And we're seeing some, you know, a liquid supply. And we're seeing that the highly liquid supply is actually moving up right now. And that is because on shorter time frames, we're seeing more and more of the weak Nancy's selling because they're wet in the bed and running for the hills. And you know, the big whales out there, they're waiting to feed on the minnows, right? Gobble, gobble, gobble. So, you know, as you guys know, if you're using Web2 right now, Web2 users have seen their personal data gets breached, monetized, and even weaponized. So, you know, a lot of uh, big internet companies, what they do is they use your data and they resell it and repurpose it and they're selling your data. So, but with Web3 coming out, this presents an opportunity for every person to take full control of their information to avoid this kind of mistake twice. So, this is really good because data sovereignty means you're going to own your data and that people can't mine your data and they can't sell it. You know, because remember you're being tracked guys you know everything that you click on your on your browser every page you go on your browser you're being tracked and that information is being reported to people of the highest bidder so they can do marketing guys and that's what's happening also with your mobile phone even though you turn off your 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 you know GPR your GPS in here you're still being tracked guys so you're still being tracked and this data is being you know uploaded and sold to the highest bidder but with web 3.0 that's all going to change you're going to control your own personal data so that is huge guys and that's why web 3.0 is a big big thing it means you're going to be able to take a call so this is just coming in got the six bullish ascending triumph in bitcoin's history so if we go all the way back to the beginning of time when the dinosaurs roamed the earth no just kidding if we go back to 2012 we can see that we had one two, three, four, five, six, six bullish ascending triangle. And this is the sixth biggest one, guys. And this one goes all the way back to 2021. So at some point, very soon, very shortly, there's gonna be an explosion of cryptocurrency that's gonna go up to the moon, guys. I'm getting pretty bullish. And you know, you need things to go down before they can go up, right? So this is from Dan Crypto Trades, and he's saying, still chilling. Let me just make this a little bit bigger, guys. Make it bigger. So still chilly, really, still chilling in the biggest channel ever in, the, in regards to Ethereum USD chart may be good or bad, but this one has a solid higher time frame, guys. So if you look at the Ethereum chart right now, we're still in this high channel. So we have basically three scenarios. Scenario one, we break out, go up. Scenario two, three, we go down and break up the upside or scenario uh, four and scenario two. I'm, I, I'm a moon boy, guys, and I think that's gonna be scenario one. Guys, please smash the likes. Tell me what you think, guys. Absolutely tell me what you think. I'd love to hear what your comments are. And I did, and he did take a pool right now. So it looks like, you know, 31% are saying green, so that's going up, right? That's number one. 33% uh, are saying purple that we're gonna that we're gonna go we're gonna kind of gonna purple is number two right so the purple is we're gonna go down tankity tank hit a base and go up and then uh, number three is orange yeah and then the, the loser twoser is uh, four so I, I I'm, a, I'm a moon boy and I agree with the majority that number one is definitely where we're gonna be heading so Ethereum is gonna be going up 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 and you know Bitcoin known to bounce very hard from this support range will history repeat so we've seen time and time again as we go all the way back to uh, 2021 we saw in July and August you know once this once this trend line, this is my parallel channel line, once we hit this trend line, we have to have a big bounce. We hit it here, bounce. We hit it here, bounce. Hit it here, bounce. We hit it here, bounce, guys. And I believe that the next target for Bitcoin is gonna be $75,000 in the house, guys. So I'm pretty bullish, I'm feeling pretty good. So right now, this is also coming in. First, first bounce, second bounce, bull run. So, you know, this is from another T. Alice who says, that you know that typically in history you know 2015 bounce bounce bull run bounce bounce bull run bounce bounce bull run guys so we could be starting the beginnings of the next bull run guys so that is cool beans in house uh you know this chart you saw in my previous video but i just want to let you guys know and let you see it again zoom out wendy trendy is your friendy sure there's been peaks and valleys along the way but the overall trend is up guys the overall trend is up i love it you love it let's get it and i think that the next peak is going to be around about seventy five thousand dollars coming soon coming at you guys so you know what should you be doing right now worst case scenario bitcoin is going down to thirty thousand. i ain't worried 
you know, don't panic. You do you guys. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but what I'm going to be doing, I did set some uh, ladder buy orders in, uh, you know, because sometimes we get these flash, you know, hunter wicks that go all the way down. So I set a ladder buy order at 30,000, at 25,000, and at 20,000 and 15,000, just in case we get hunter wicks, guys. Just in case, you never know. Uh, some, these are like lotteries. Sometimes these wicks go poof and then go back up again. And sometimes you do get lucky and you can catch some of these wicks. It's not financial advice, it's just what I'm doing out there. So let's take a look at the bitty on the four hour, guys. The itty, bitty, baby in our So, you know, right now we can see that bitty is at 35,933. And it's just been doing the crappy walk. Crabby walk, crabby walk, crabby walk. And it's just been going sideways between you know 30 35,000 like 800 to 36,100 uh, ish so that's what's kind of going on right now so we're just doing the grabby walk guys so it's boring and uh, we just need something to happen guys but you were still seeing that's purple rain line right here is holding pretty firm and pretty solid at 35,616 so that that line is holding like a crazy it's holding like kryptonite so that's a kryptonite purple wall and if uh, Bitcoin stays above there, I'm pretty bullish, guys. So, you know, it looks like that uh, this week, you know, I was hoping that we could have another green candle, but it ain't going to happen, guys and gals. So if you look at it, we have one, two, three, four, five, six weeks of down, dee, 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 down, down. So Bitcoin, you get a beautiful red card from the OG, guys. Come on, Biddy, let's get it, guys. So we're not going to talk about the leverage, James. We talk about those too much or too often. Wow, for the price of Bitcoin right now. So <laughs> I got gotcha, you, right? For the price of Dogecoin. OG gets a red card. This is Dogecoin we're talking about. So Dogecoin, it is at 12.78. And it's also doing a crappy walk, crappy walk. We can for confirmation of the Biddy to happen. And, you know, we should be breaking down this downward, uh, the apex of the triangle pretty soon. And, you know, the apex apex does finish it comes to confluence between the top and the bottom around the 19th of may but i think we're going to be breaking out of that sooner than later and we'll be back up to 1350 pretty soon i'm pretty bullish guys let's take a look at my ethereum right now ethereum in the house guys so my internet so i apologize and we're seeing that ethereum is at 2676 and it's you know it did try to get back up to 2700 which is our support line i mean it's resistance now but it is it was a huge support before but we got rejected we're going to keep banging at that line and hopefully hopefully you know if we keep chipping away at that line we're gonna get about that line guys so let's get it guys and if you take a look at our beautiful and luscious luscious phantom in the house is also doing the crappy walk and it's at 70 70 about 71 cents in the house and so for my phantom my phantom my phantom my solana my solana my solana solana is doing amazingly well you know this whole 80 dollar support line has been holding like a charm guys it's been holding like a charm excuse me we're going to be getting up there, guys. So that is cool beans in us. Let's take a look at the market cap. Market market cap right now. So the market cap has come down from 1.69 in my previous video. And uh, that was about two hours ago by the time you're watching this. And right now it's at 1.68. The volumes have gone down to 56.50. Expect the volumes to go down on Sunday. Yeah. And expect also the Bitcoin dominance to probably stay where it is right now. So let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at the coinage in the house. So right now we're seeing the coinage in the house is, you know, everything's pretty much in the red right now. I mean, a lot of stuff is almost neutral. We're seeing, you know, like Solana, everything is... You know, the Luna Tuna is down like crazy. I don't know what's, what's up with that. The Doja Wars are still positive, guys. Still positive at time of recording. But you're seeing that, you know, everything is getting, you know, moving up to the neutral zone in uh, the neutral, the Romulan neutral zone. Star Trek friends, I love Star Trek. And uh, we're seeing that, uh, you know, we could be, you know, starting to make some moves right now. And, uh, you know, if we look at the leverage apes, just quick, guys, just quick, 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 quick. We can see that on the hourly time frame, we got a lot of shorts building up. So this could be the start of something good and we could start to see a short squeeze and hopefully the itty bitty bye bye this is going to make us some moves to the upside guys so that brings this video too close just a short one guys just a short one guys so do go back and follow me on my twitter we got three four thousand three hundred eighty four let's see if we can get this up to five thousand so five thousand followers guys let's get it guys i almost said five thousand subscribers i mean five thousand followers guys so let's do it and guys don't forget to boop the likes boop the likes smash the likes and and subscribe turn on the bell notifications if you would be so kind don't forget to check out all the linky links the linkies are below each and every single video get it get it get it we've got the dogecoin tipping jar we've got uh, you know buy that channel of coffee we got a page we can become a patreon member you can check out the nft collection and finally we got the merch 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 get the merch get the merch get the merch gear with all your gear and merch up guys merch up remember all the merch 
uh, all the super chats, all the Dogecoin dust, all the coffees, all the patrons, that all goes to help those in need, guys. And we should be having our next videos hopefully sometime, maybe July now, because people are not being very friendly with uh, showing support. What can I do? It's life, right? When crypto's down, people's like, they're naughty. So guys and gals, crypto's a job the doctor. And I just wanted to say to you all, be blessed, be well, have a good evening, good morning, good afternoon, be well. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Peace out. I'll see you. And let's hope that your beauty starts to make some moves. I think it will. I know it will. We're going to be going uppity up, up. We're going to be going to the moony moon moon soon, guys. Let's get the moon together. I'll see you. Peace out.